Hi guys! So this is a quick reminder about seismic AVO. To help you refresh your memories about seismic amplitude versus offset analysis. Okay, first of all AVO means amplitude versus offset. Now let's start with this. You have a seismic line with either a bright spot, an amplitude phase reversal or a dim spot. Now any of these figures could relate or not to an AVO effect. Not every amplitude is related to a DHI. And to verify this you may want to analyze them in the offset domain where the data is not yet stacked to a single trace. In the offset domain, the hydrocarbon effects slow down the P-wave reflections for the far offsets. And this is the phenomenon that we need to quantify. Remember that the seismic data are recorded as shot gathers. This means that all offset traces related to a single shot are gathered. But the shot gather is not suitable for an ABO analysis. Because here the traces are coming from a unique reflection point. The gathers that we need to work with are the common midpoints or CMP. When the gathers are rearranged as CMP we have almost the gathers on which we may perform the ABO analysis. As illustrated here. In the case of a simple tabular earth model. The CMP gathers may be approximated as common reflection points. The CMP gathers are of course an approximation for the common reflection point gathers. They may not be suitable in case of anisotropy or dipping events as shown here. Depending on the impedance breaks, there are three main AVO classes after Rutherford and Williams. Class 1 AVO appears as dim spots on stacked images, Class 2 AVO appears as phase reversal, and Class 3 AVO showing as bright spots on stacked images. But how do they look like in the offset domain? On this illustration the top thumbnails show the offset gathers reflections obtained for each class and below the display shows how the reflection coefficients behave along increasing offset angles in the case of a gas bearing reservoir. The class 1 AVO starts with strong positive amplitudes for the near offsets and finishes with strong negative amplitudes in the far offsets. As a result the stack trace is a blank reflection or dim spot. The class 2 AVO starts with weak positive amplitudes for the near offsets and evolves rapidly to negative amplitudes. The stacked trace results as a strong negative amplitude and therefore a phase reversal on the stacked image. The class 3 AVO starts with negative amplitudes in the near offsets and ends up with even stronger negative amplitudes on the far offsets resulting as a bright spot on the stacked image. The theory is rather simple but what can go wrong? Various parameters control the seismic data and they may all have an impact on the resulting image. Wave attenuation, spherical divergence, multiples, phase shift, coupling, noise, ground roll, and many others. All these parameters need to be controlled and quantified before you may rely on your AVO analysis. Knowing your data is the key. Thanks for watching this animation built by Reza, and give me thumbs up if you liked it.